G'day guys, we've got something pretty exciting here today. It is a package from Latvia. Now I just went through and um, just cut around the edges to open the, the box after uh, saying thank you to the kind sender and then realised inside he re wished to remain anonymous. So <laughs> that's always the, uh, the good thing to do guys. I mean if, if, you, if I am fortunate to receive something from um, a subscriber uh, you know, please let me know inside the package because uh, it's it's often uh, too easy to forget. But here we go. We'll take this out because it's a little bit a little bit glary in there. I haven't read this yet, apart from the anonymous part. Package from YouTube user Stomach Five Thousand. So thank you very much, Stomach Five Thousand. Enjoys watching the MRE reviews and the Latvian Man forces. So he eats these pretty often. Nine menus available that differ by the type of the main meal, porridge, nuts and sweets. There are of course one menu, liver and sour cream sauce that is particularly awful. 90% of us hate it. <laughs> well, I wonder what this one is. Uh, this is a single meal MRE, uh, provided warm food. Soldier gets three of these a day. Contents of what's inside is written on the package in Latvian and for English. Main meal canned meat is made from beef. Um, translate... Previous version had fewer edible items and calories. <laughs> uh, this MRE type has local rye bread, which is good. Okay, the previous bread was like paper bread. And they used to burn them to repel mosquitoes. Alright, so that's um, that's uh, not very encouraging from the, the last... At least they've changed it, I suppose. There we go. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Stomach5000. Serving soldier in the Latvian services. A uh, relatively relatively thin bag. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, doesn't feel too thick at all. Uh, but here we go. Field ration number six, and it tells you what you got: meat stew, rye bread, porridge with blueberries. Actually, seems like there's quite a lot of stuff in here. There's no obvious ways get into this bag. Well, here's a convenient hole. <laughs> so let's try that. Ta-da! Alright. So this will be the beef... <laughs> Alright, so it looks like it's probably a commercial, normal commercial product that's just had a, kind of rather crudely a label Gunked on. There we go, no problem. Um, interestingly, there is a bit of. Oh, right. Um, is it from this? I believe it might be. I think this could be honey. Let's check that out. Um, candies, fruit, bread, apricot, jam. Oh, honey. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is honey, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, it's hard to say, is that come from there? Something's definitely leaked out here, because there's some goo, you can see it on top of the can. It's come from something. And one would suspect it's come from these, but there's no real obvious signs of damage. Anyway, so here we go, we've got the meat stew and sauce, which is the beef. We've got some of this rye bread. Um, looks like best before 31st of the 12th, 16. So that's good, this is um, vacuum sealed. Accessory pack here. <laughs> oh, if you've Watch my Spanish review, you'll know why I <clears throat> had a bit of a chuckle there. So we have a portable heater, we've got some uh, fuel tablets and some matches. Interestingly, the, the fuel tablets aren't individually packaged, so you know, this you know, obviously combustible stuff is uh, sort of all over the inside of this bag. Inside with the matches, I can't, can't imagine that being the most 
safest thing in the world, but oh what well, they've got here. And uh, okay, first straighten the sides of the metal heating surface so it is possible to place canned food. Yeah. <laughs> Kidoki. Okay, okay. There we go. Get your little legs down the bottom. So this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty interesting. And the accessory pack itself. It's got um a combination of kind of honey and fuel tab all over my hands now. Interesting. So here we have two coffees. Okay, keep you going. Strawberry tea, it's very nice from Lipton's. A refreshing wipe. Lemon, no less. And this will be a fruit drink. Um, oh, sugar, two times 20 grams. Really? No, surely not. Cuckoos. What does it say? Um, it's interesting. Surely that's not all sugar. Okay. Translate time. Well, yes indeed. Cuckoos does mean sugar. It seems like a lot. Hmm, okay. Oh well, um, I suppose you've got a couple of coffees to put it in, plus you've got this. What is that? Porridge with blueberries. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, right, right. I say no English instructions, but that's handy, isn't it? it tells you what to do. Got some cashews and almonds. They look pretty good. Then we got the honey and the apricot jam. Now I really do want to find out which one sort of leaked out here because it's probably not going to be a good idea to eat that one. I'm thinking it's possibly the the honey here by the looks. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna squeeze it a bit too much. <clears throat> yeah, but um if it is the honey, which I am hundred percent certain it is. Can't really go there. So we've got a kinda uh, feels kind of flimsy. Spoon, but we'll see how we get on with that. We've got some candy in here. Have a look, actually. Oh, quite a few. Definitely stacked with sugar. Um, so these are fruit, strawberry, orange, that plum, maybe. So yeah, some lollies. And there we have it, guys. A Latvian single meal. Now, what do we notice about it? First thing I notice is, is there's an extreme amount of coffee. Um, four coffees for one meal is, is pretty interesting, plus a tea. Um, so I don't know whether, because you have the different uh, the ones throughout the day, uh, perhaps you get you know, a whole bunch of coffees in one and then in others you may get none or just one, that kind of deal. Um, the amount of sugar is puzzling too, so I'm, I'm gonna, it's going to be interesting to open these and find out whether they're actually a, you know, like a sugar drink, flavored drink, or whether they are actually just sugar. Um, bread, looking forward to that. We've got a couple of spreads. So I'll have to pass on the honey. Uh, that's that's been compromised somehow, and um, yeah, it's it's got a real uh, breakfast theme. This one, we've got our porridge, blueberry porridge, I think it is. So, um, well, it's hard to say, and we've still got our main here too. This is this has been uh, this is piping hot, so too hot to touch at the moment. 
but let's get it all out and see what it tastes like. So now, instead of a flameless ration heater, let's make some fire. Now I'm actually wondering now whether that loose label was more of an intentional thing uh, to be able to just pull it off to stop it catching fire when you've got it over the flame and if so pretty good thinking but anyway so we've got these uh, quite a few individual little tabs here I think it's going to go for broke and try and light them all The kids have just got out for lunch there. I don't know if you can hear them. <laughs> I'll crack that a bit. Mmm, smells good. These things do seem like they burn pretty hot. So, uh... As with most things flame related on this channel, I may have overdone it. <laughs> Let's pop it on. And we wait. Well, if there's one thing about these uh, portable stoves, uh, they're incredibly efficient. They're quite a hell of a mess going here, but uh, one thing's for sure, it's, uh, it's definitely hot. I wonder if there's going to be a new mark from that cutting board. <laughs> Yeah, there's quite a bit of preparation involved in these meals. Obviously you've got the heating up of the main. Uh, you've got the making of the porridge. So uh, you, will, you would want a reasonable amount of time to uh, get prepared. So here we go. Uh, Date-wise this is good till 2017. And uh, all we need here is about 100 mils of water. and we'll cover that up and we'll get into the uh, tea and coffee strawberry tea is a nice change okay. now the Lat uh, Latvian uh, <coughs> National Armed Forces has got about um, 4,600 active members 8,000 National Guard and about a 12,000 Reserve. So says Wiki. And it was created just after World War One. Now let's see. I mean, this has to just be sugar. A lot of it. Here it is. Okay, we'll pop a bit of sugar in. Yeah, this combined with all of these sweets, um, yeah, the sugar content is it's got to be through the roof. Although, mind you, I mean some US MREs it has to be as well, right? Especially the breakfast uh, breakfast type deals. Give that a bit of a stir. No whitener in this puppy. Latvian real men. <laughs> Let's get into the uh, rye bread here. Looks very uh, wholesome. There we go. Oh wow. That's a strong smell. Two slices. They uh, not in a hurry to come apart. It almost smells like Christmas cake. Kind of a. It's almost a vaguely. Um, it's almost a vaguely alcoholic types alcoholic alcohol. Vaguely smells of kind of alcohol. It sounds crazy, but 
Yeah, almost like it does. It smells nice. I gotta say, it's not a smell that I've, I'm used to. Let's do some magic here. And we get into cashews and almonds. Where are these made? In Latvia? Okay. These look just fine. They smell. Yep, smell good too, no problems there. Look at the apricots bread, or apricot jam. It smells nice, not a, not a huge smell to it. We'll put some of that on the rye bread. Alrighty, and let's see if we can get this thing out of here without doing it too much damage to ourselves. There we have it. Beef stew. It smells good. A lot of juice. Come out. Right, reluctant. There we go. Well, I suppose like using a lot of these heaters, you've got some burnt bits at the bottom. That's where all the flavours at, right? Okay, so the porridge has been uh, sitting for about five minutes. Looks like it's reconstituted pretty nicely, so I'll transfer it into here. All right, ready to rock and roll. The coffee is shot. Tasting good. Normal instant coffee as you'd expect. And not bad from this cafe. Now the Lipton's strawberry tea has been interesting. Yeah, that's good. I'm not a huge tea drinker, so putting flavor to it uh, definitely helps, in my opinion. Yeah, a nice little faint strawberry hint going on. Here we go, it's cashews and almonds. Very nice, they're unsalted, but uh, very fresh, very crunchy. Happy with that. The rye bread itself, it's uh, it's kind of midway between being hard and soft, let's say. It still feels kind of very dense, and uh, there's you know, still a bit of moisture in there. Give it a try. Wow, that's a strong bread. The crust, you know, where it's kind of more cooked, is uh, super strong. It's it's almost it's almost licorice in flavour. You know, just a lot going on. <laughs> very dense. You know, it's. Uh, pretty dense. I imagine a couple of slices of that will have you going for a while. Let's try some of the apricot jam. Yeah, that definitely brings some uh, much needed sweetness to the party. But I love that kind of bread. I mean, given a choice over a wheat snack bread, uh, I would go for rye bread. It just tastes healthier. <laughs> Alright, let's try this porridge. This is actually rice porridge, I believe. I haven't put any sugar in here yet, so we'll see if it needs it. Probably will. Yeah, there's a little, a little bit of sweetness in there. Already. Yeah, it's not too bad, but... I would smack a little bit in. Let's try that again. Yeah, that makes it much better. Uh, it's it's kind of like rice pudding, basically. It's just like a rice pudding with a few blueberries in it, and a little bit of sweetness. Um, nice alternative to the normal kind of porridge you would get. So uh, it's looking good. Now I'll bring you in for a close up. Everything's swimming in this kind of gelatinous as it as it gets a bit cooler. 
the fat in here is uh, solidifying again. We'll try some of that. Gross as it may seem. Ooh, a lot of flavor in there. Wow. Okay, this is shaping up to be sort of one hearty stew. Now the main obvious ingredients you can see in there is um, it looks like onion, carrot, I believe there's some tomato as well. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. That is That is good. It's not it's not like solid chunks of beef. From what I can see. Um, well I guess there is some. I mean it's very you know, it's very fatty. There's a, <laughs> a lot of fat in here, which is certainly adding to the flavour. Uh there's a nice amount of seasoning, it doesn't need any salt. I kind of taste, um, th this would be quite good in a, a meat pie. Yeah, you can imagine this inside, a, inside some pastry, maybe with some mashed potato on top, baked in the oven. This, this would be a, a really good filling. As you can tell, I like it. <laughs> Mmm. That's cool. Alright, and the only thing we've got left here are the, the sweets themselves. Oh, this one's a bit stuck. <laughs> That's a bit of a bummer. Not the easiest uh, to get out. I'll give up on you in search of an easier target. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, quite, it's quite sticky. They're hard, but it's just that outer layer. So those sweets are, uh, you know, just like what you'd expect. They're, um, they're, well, I think these have been infected maybe by heat a bit, or they've, um, yeah, be, be great if they weren't a little bit gooey on the outside. But uh, they're tasty. Uh, fruit flavors. Um, quite nice enjoyable things just to suck on as you're as you're walking along not too bad alrighty so this has been a Latvian military ration and uh, I've got to say from initial slight misgivings at the beginning I was kind of thinking mm, is this gonna sort of work but actually it all does and uh, you know looking at it here it just looks kind of like a well-rounded kind of meal might try some of this on the rye bread actually. This could be revelation. That's awesome. What I'd do next time is I'll put one of these slices on the bottom before I poured this on and it would just soak up all of those juices. It was a uh, such a nice hearty combination to have this stew with that bread. And then save the other piece of bread for the spreads. So there you go, thanks very much Stomach5000 for sending this in. Um, really interesting to try a Latvian ration. And uh, you know, I've got to say I'm quite impressed. So, you know, I think there's probably a few too many coffees in there, but I mean, can you have such a thing? They're so small, you just stash them, right? stash and trade and whatever. Um, heck of a lot of sugar, more sugar than I really know what to do with, but I, like I say, I am assuming that some of these rations you know, would contain the coffees and some of them wouldn't. It might be just one of those things that you, you do store and you have them up through the day. But it's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks very much for watching, guys. See you on the next one.